Hello and welcome back to Cardboard Decoy Plays Kerbal Space Program. We return to the Steely Dan, which um, is not actually the name of the thing, but I just like saying it. Um, oh my goodness, what is going on with this maneuver node here? Oh yeah, that's right, the maneuver node doesn't mean anything, I just did it so I can set the alarm. Um, so I can no longer ignore this, it is time to make sure that we have a decent Minmus, or stable Minmus orbit, and then we can go back to doing everything else, but I figure why not go ahead and set up the map satellite? Actually, there's several good reasons for that that I have running as we speak. Um, so yes, we will absolutely have to go back to the other projects directly after this, but let's go ahead and stabilize this orbit, and then we will come back to it. Oh man, what could it possibly be? Probably not that exciting, but either way, um, your enthusiasm as always is appreciated, so I'm not going to contest that whatsoever. Okay, where are we? There we go. Got lucky, first try, retrograde, right here. Although I guess it could be pretty easy to figure out if I really thought about it long enough. Alright, and there we go. So, we, we now have stable Midmus orbit. Fantastico. And we're going to want, probably, if I had to guess... Yeah, you know what? For Midmus, Midmus is not that big. Let's do 150,000. No, I don't like it. Hold on, expanding. I am a fickle, fickle uh, individual when it comes to this kind of stuff, I suppose. That wouldn't be an unfair argument. And then, uh, okay. Uh, we're going to do 250. Yeah. Again, Minimus is small, so it leads me to believe that I can get smaller and smaller orbits on it. But um, that's actually probably not great because it's also very rocky. So, like, we were cruising around the surface of the moon at, like... 10 kilometers or something, but that could potentially kill us on Minmus. So, I I would bet. We'll find out here soon enough once I get this thing up and running. So, 250. Just to give us some uh, leeway and also hopefully maximize our scan range. I'm not... I There's math. There's like legitimate math for the perfect altitude to uh, set your satellites to get the maximum scan range. And uh, I looked at it for a second and then my head started hurting and I said no. So, I... Uh, no, don't. There we go. Switch to. All right, the Steely Dan is in orbit. We can safely resume bringing everybody home. Uh, but our job here at picking up people is not quite done. All right, we're at 200 kilometers. That's pretty good. We got thrown off by the moon orbit while I was bringing this in, so we're not as far out as I had wanted to be. But this will do just fine. Let's go ahead and turn this guy around. I got really lucky, ran out of RCS, but my control is strong enough that I don't really need it that much. Good stuff. All right, so here we go, and zhoosh. All right, we're gonna let this happen. Make sure our orbit is balanced and circularized. Um, yes, this deorbiting engine that you see here was a failed attempt at getting the deorbiting engine over to uh, uh, the moon, but it did not work out so well because I forgot to extend solar panels. Say la vie. So maybe we'll tie that up here pretty soon too. Right now we're gonna get over here and pick everybody up except for uh, the stuff in the service ship. And then they, well, you know what? We might pick up the people in the service ship too. I'm not sure yet. I haven't come to a conclusive decision on what I want to do with that. So we will certainly find out before too long though. And bringing this back down is taking forever because nuclear rockets, super efficient, very low thrust. Yep. <laughs> what is there to say? At least I haven't started using ion rockets on cam yet. That might be that might be a sad day for everyone, if I had to guess. So let's go ahead and stop it right there. Cool. And we're gonna time warp a little bit. Oh my god, this is gonna be painfully slow, isn't it? Wonderful. What is my current altitude? Altitude, ah uh, yeah, we need to be above twenty four hundred if we want to go any faster than this. I'm wondering. Uh at a maneuver, if we set set as target, mm. no, that's not. I have to actually slow down to be able to do that correctly. So, well, we just wait here for a second. It'll be topical. So, how was your day and all that? Um, mine has uh, been relatively okay. I had pancakes; they were great. Um, I've still got a cold. It has progressed to my nose, which is starting to really affect my voice. So maybe not the best time to be casting, but hey, this is how we learn, right? 
Uh, at least I think that's how we're supposed to learn. I'm not really sure. So let's go ahead and slow everything down. We're about at a good intercept course. We want to uh, switch to... No, we don't want to switch to... Well, we kind of want to switch to. I want to see where we are relative to the other thing. Um, that is... Lemby Kerman, Lemby Kerman debris. Lemby Kerman debris. Small service modules way over there. What is this Lemby Kerman debris? Oh, that's the the parachute. Okay, cool. Never mind. Who cares? Uh, let's go map and switch to. Okay. And we want to go to map. Create maneuver. And, all right, we want to make sure that we are targeted. No, okay, we are targeted on that one. That's the one we want. And, uh, yeah, we just about nailed it on the first try there. Good stuff. All right. All right, where does that put us? Intersect 5.6 kilometers. Let's close the gap. Mm, 9.1 is further. That is not closing the gap. Okay. There we go. 5.5. Where's the where's the point of separation here? Is it up and down? Yeah, it's both. Okay, so we... Whoa, 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 whoa. There we go. Mouse wheeling, mouse wheeling. Dang it. Ah, it's so annoying. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Oh my god. There's like no forgiveness with this. If you pass it a little bit and then try to mouse wheel up, it just throws you off astronomically. Whoa, there we go. Let's just very carefully... Okay, good enough. Alright, and we'll close this gap next. Okay, what does that say? 1.6 kilometers, that's close enough. Alright, let's get over here. 126 meters a second... And then we'll watch this manually. I did discover this isn't always completely correct because I was messing with it uh, last time I had a rendezvous and I managed to get closer just by watching this and then firing engines until they started separating again. So I was like, oh, that's handy. So, okay, let's go ahead and... We're going to move time just a little bit. We're going to stop at about 20 seconds. Fire for a second so it does the calculations for me. There we go. 10 seconds is what I want. Okay... Whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh. whoa. About to miss the window. Totally fine. I got it. Don't worry, guys. All right. And... We should still have our target set up. And now we watch it manually. Oh, well, well, we passed it. <laughs> All right. So if we just do this and hit the horizon line again, we should be able to go back a little bit and uh, get back to the point that we were at. In theory, in theory. Let's see. Okay. And very little thrust now. And look at that. Point three. Closer than projected. So I will take it. That's going to be good stuff. Okay. And then we just want to pick up people from our failed Jeb lander. And uh, then we will be done with the bus and we can land the bus and all will be well. And hopefully the bus actually has parachutes. It should, though. That would be really dumb if it doesn't, though. I would not be the least bit surprised if I were to look at it right now and then possibly scream. And, okay. Where are we at? Hold on. Where's my target? There's my target. Okay, good. So, we're getting closer by the second. And, yeah, I added a whole bunch. Okay, we're good. So, after this, we'll be able to probably land without a whole lot of guilt. I'm thinking. We still have a couple other landers. We have the actual save Jeb and the service module that need to land, but we'll probably just bring the service module into closer orbit and send another bus up after it. Um, that seems like maybe the better idea, but we'll see. Alright, I'm going to start slowing it down. Whoa. Probably should have started a little bit earlier. Uh, that's good. This will work. Alright, we'll make it work. Okay, and there we go, come to a stop, okay, and then we find our target again, and wang, 
get in about as close as we feel comfortable getting in. And I'm going to take some coffee while we're accelerating. Alright, that gives me 50 seconds to turn around. Easy peasy, no big deal. Time really flies in this game, you don't even realize it. Yesterday, while I was setting up all of this stuff and designing ships and everything, it went from about 3 o'clock to 10 o'clock in the space of 30 minutes. Um, if, if that makes any sort of sense. Yeah, of course, speaking relatively and all of that, seriously though, it was kind of shocking. I haven't had a, an experience like this since uh, The Sims. So, if that's not a shining, uh, a shining, uh, what you call it, compliment on uh, the absolute enjoyability of this game. I don't know what it is. Yeah, we're going to just take this down as soon as we pick up these guys. I don't have enough fuel to fool around and possibly miss a uh, landing opportunity with a whole cargo storage full of Kerbins. Okay. And whoop, there we go. And you know what? That's close enough. Let's go ahead and switch to these guys. We're going to put them on EVA. And we are going to let go and RCS, where are we at? There we go. Whoop. And we are not turned the right way. Oh, you know what? That's close enough. Whoa, whoa, stop. Whoa, 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 whoa. There we go. That's the button I want. And whoa, whoa. There we go, and then we just raise straight up. Those helmets are pretty tough. Oh yeah, that one's full. We gotta go in this one. And the sun is rising. Beautiful. And this is... Roddick Kerbin. I can't remember how you were significant in any particular way, but let's pretend that he graduated with high honors. And, uh... Whoa, 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 wrong button. Hold on. There we go. That's what I wanted. Um... Jonathan... Jonathan Kerbin... Uh, they had some great 80s songs, or is that Donovan? I can't remember. Okay. Anyways, uh, we are going to go over here. Alright, and good stuff. There we go. The failed save Jeb mission has been recovered, or at least... Its crew members have, the ship itself, uh, is going to float forever until they come up with some sort of ballistic missile system to blow it out of the sky, which will be really fun. Alright, so let's go aboard. Alright, perfect. And that's everyone. That's everyone I care to save at the moment, at least. Let's go ahead and turn this boat around and deorbit. Let's see. Yeah, I have those there. We are out of fuel. Yeah, we're good. Okay, cool. So we should have just enough to be able to at least get into the atmosphere. We're going to double check and make sure. And do we want a liquid landing or a solid landing is the big question. Oh, that's the other way. That's 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 wrong. Whoops. Okay. So let's go for a solid landing because I did put lander feet on here and I'd hate to waste it. Um we will go ahead and quick save. Just in case that ends up being a bad idea, which, you know, has a tendency to happen. Okay. And... We aren't pointed the right way, are we? Oh, I'm looking at target, damn it. Why didn't anybody tell me? And now I feel stupid. That's a good thing I quick save, just in case. Alright, and there we go. Ah, we're getting somewhere. Unset target. There we go. That ought to help. Okay, there we go. We are relatively over land. It's not going to tell me what my height is at that point. Let's extend this just a little bit, because we'll lose so much of our speed just going through the atmosphere. So I want to make sure that we don't totally botch this. Let's go like so. And we'll at least stretch to the edge of the continent and a little bit into that gulf there. All right, cool. So let's get this part done. We bringing everyone home. 
All right. Where are we at on time? Oh, yeah, we're totally good. Well, we got like five minutes left, so we'll see this, and then I'll get everything set up for... Uh, whoops. Let's go ahead and... There we go. Closing all of our uh, solar panels before they fly off in the breeze. Not ideal. Not really. No. Um, but yeah, in the next episode, we'll be uh, deorbiting Jeb, and uh, that'll be quite a momentous occasion, I believe. So, good times for all. Okay, so here we go. We don't really need to worry about uh, physics warp doing anything too terribly terrible until uh, we start getting into the thicker atmosphere. At least I don't think we do. I could be wrong about that. Not that I'm ever wrong, but, you know, sometimes. Okay. And we are over land. Let's pass these mountains, and I'm going to start firing and try to speed up this process a little bit. So let's go like so. Turn all of our side, our horizontal momentum into downward momentum this way. In theory, that's what I'd like to believe. And it works out okay for us. All right. If I felt being like being really daring, I could totally just separate these now and send them flying across the continent like nuclear missiles that they basically are. Um, but we won't for the time being, just because. Okay. It's giving me some ideas for how to blow errant ships out of the sky now. I'm very amused by myself. Okay, and here we go. We're going to have a nice old landing. And there we go. I quick saved so I could do this. Whee! There we go. That is beautiful. Okay, I was correct. Um, yeah, don't mind me. I just had to do it at least once. Oh, look at them go. They're spinning all the way around. And then... Oh, please. Oh, none of them hit. Dang. That would have been beyond awesome. But it is really cool that they're kind of oscillating back and forth like that. Are they going to come back? No, the engines ran out. Oh, well. So, and I think I heard one of them hit the ground. That was cool. That was definitely worth it. I'd do it again in a heartbeat. Of course, who wouldn't at this point, would they? All right. So, here we go. We actually managed to get bleed off a lot of speed. I almost... I, I get really tempted to put on Deadly Reentry. It's something that I don't really... Like, I know I'd forget it in all of my designs, basically. Uh, just constantly making the error of, Oh, hey, I got parachutes, I got everything else, but I don't actually have a way to withstand reentry. And that would just be many, many launches of, like, God... And I don't feel like putting up with that. <laughs> nothing nothing personal uh, to anyone in particular. It's just a matter of, like, why why would I do that to myself? I know myself too well to, uh, you know, willfully put myself in a situation where I know I would just fail for a long time and possibly not have any interest left in the game. Oh, sorry. I'm just moving stuff around. And here we go. It's a little top-heavy, and we're about to land on mountains, which was the exact thing I was trying to avoid a second ago, but... Whatever, say la vie. Trade in one mountain for another, that kind of a deal. Alright, there we go. Turn off SAS. We don't really need it for this. Yeah, we do. There we go. And it's probably going to fall, but that's okay. Oh, that's right. That's got to actually open up. There we go. I had almost forgotten that that was a thing. I've kind of grown more fond of putting lander legs even on these terrestrial landers just because... It makes me feel that much safer. Let's go IVA. Yay, guys, we're almost home. How do you feel? Food, not food. Refuse, trash, rubbish, junk. And space. <laughs> Laundry. Board games. Toothbrushes. That's a lot of toothbrushes. Oh, I love it. That's, that's adorable. All right, let's go ahead and watch this landing. Everybody's real happy to be back home. So we've got everybody off the station, which means it is safe to deorbit. Uh, we just need to worry about Jeb. And um, possibly the rest of the service crew that we had flying around. But, yeah, you know, we'll, we'll take care of them when we take care of them. And here we go. Coming in for a landing. And hopefully the terrain is not too crazy. Kaboom. Oh, 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 oh. What blew up? Nothing important? Nothing important blew up. Okay. 
Good enough. All right. Let's recover the vessel. Whew. Man, oh man. That was, that was terrifying. What can I say? I really didn't want to land on a mountain, but, you know, there's only so much you can do after a point. Okay. Next. Done. Tracking station. And we're going to bust your order ship debris. Uh, let's go. Well, we can recover. Yep. Recover. And recover. So, what all did we recover? Zero science. And a whole bunch of crew. So we got Bob and Bill back. The orange suits are tip-top importance, etc. We're going to go ahead and destroy that. Terminate. All right. And yeah, not too bad. Cleaning up the galaxy one, uh, one, one thing at a time. So, all right. Let us... I'm going to go back to save Jeb and end this video. And, uh, yeah, so this has been Cardboard Decoy Plays Kerbal Space Program. Next episode should be real exciting because we're going to try to deorbit Jeb. And, uh, with our current parachute placement, that should either be really, really good or really, really tragically hilarious in, like, all the best ways. So we're going to find out. That's going to be the goal. So where I'm going to, let's see. Yeah, we just need, uh, yeah, you, you do the EVA, Jeb. Let's go, let go. And there we go. Okay, cool. So I've just got to detach all of these struts that we've had on here. So that should be fairly easy comparatively. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Just a quick demonstration. Okay, slow down. Oh my goodness. Jeb, you're a loose cannon in, but he's up in space here. He's just too excited to leave his cockpit. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. And poor example. Uh, we will grab... Whoa. That wasn't scary. That managed to, uh, break the, uh, w the connection with the strut there. I was not expecting that. Okay. Well, hopefully that goes well. Uh, either way, this is a big cardboard decoy playing Kerbal Space Program. Tune in next time, where we will absolutely find out whether or not this was a good idea. So, uh, yeah, it should be real fun. Oh, oh, oh. I could just unplug this. Let me... Yeah, I'm gonna drop you. Bye. Very quickly. Oh, God. Don't crash. Whatever you do, don't hit each other hard enough that there's to crash. Hold on. I'm waiting for this, uh... Grab. Grab. Okay. I'm waiting for the, the tension to ease here. And a lock connector. Lock connector. Lock connector. There we go. And we're just gonna attach you here somewhere. There we go. Close enough. All right. Well, harrowing indeed. We are uh, now disentangled from the service module, and uh, we can now successfully, hopefully, fly back in one piece. Oh, yeah, I was going to add more fuel, wasn't I? Well, <laughs> you can't have it all, I guess. Uh, let's... Ooh, 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 ooh. Come on. Come on. Just get in there. I'm going to rub your face all over the ship until you board. Anyways, yeah, I'll see you then. Have fun.